Hey everyone. So I've got a real fun project I've been working on here and I just have to show you this. So I've been establishing a large paramedic style medical kit for our family for traveling purposes. Either we're on the road, we're in the mountains or anything like that. And throughout that course, uh, we purchase a few pre-packaged items thinking that they're going to be a great value in addition to our kits. Well, after the purchasing of them, I decided I needed to do something about it. So what I wanna do here is I have this Adventure Medical Kits Trauma Pack 3 kit. Um, this is a bleed control kit, so you can help reduce heavy bleed flow. Um, what our goal here is, is I'm gonna give you a full breakdown of this kit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a cost analysis. So we're gonna take the actual cost of what these prepackaged kits are and see if it's a good value. We're gonna go on Amazon and we're going to reassemble this package through Amazon pricings and be able to see if we can come up with a better value than what this says. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to rebuild this trauma pack. We, using the exact same cost of what it would be to purchase this outright or to assemble one that is going to be a better value and better application for this type of a kit. Let's get into this. Let's go ahead and break this kit down and let me show you the contents of what this is. So here is the contents of the Trauma Pack 3. So in the kit, you do get a four inch compression bandage. It's a four inch Israeli bandage, a pair of EMT shears, a pair of latex free nylon gloves, a Sharpie marker, a triangular bandage. This is a 42 by 42 by 59 inch bandage. You do get a little bit of an instruction booklet. It's funny how on these little instruction booklets, it's not tailored to this exact kit because right here they're showing you a cat tourniquet, but they, in, in this one, they give you a rubber tourniquet. And then there's that last thing right there. You got yourself a rubber tourniquet. This is a four inch by 57 unstretched tourniquet. Um, this is a great starter kit right here because it does allow you to get the cutoff blood flow uh, if you have if you need a tourniquet it does have that ability and it also allows you to be able to put pressure directly on the wound um, so this this is a pretty basic kit um, on amazon this kit right here runs 39.99 when it's not on a sale um, so that's going to be our starting point so if $40 for this kit. Now you do see these at uh, sports centers and hunting stores and everything like that. And on average, I can see them anywhere between $40 and $60. But we're going to use the $40 Amazon price to be able to go through this. So let's go into the cost analysis and let's see if out of the package, this trauma kit is worth the money. All right, so let's go ahead and do the cost analysis of the Trauma Pack 3. This one on Amazon right now is on sale at 9% off, so it's at $36.28. The list price is $39.99, and that's what we're gonna go based on. We're gonna go on standard retail of what Amazon says. Okay, here's the breakdown of the cost analysis per item. Uh, we are adjusting the prices for how much quantity the pack does come with. So starting off on the top, these are those mini black Sharpie style markers. This will run you $1.25 per marker, one in that pack. The EMT shears comes with a single set of them, is $1.66 in our pack. This four inch compression style Israeli bandage will run you $6.99 for one in the pack. The triangular bandage is smaller than what is in the pack. So the pack comes with a 42 inch by 42 inch by 59 inch. And unfortunately I was only able to locate a 40 by 40 by 56. This one will run you 83 cents to add to the pack. Another um, alteration we had to do was the SWAT T tourniquet. Um, the only elastic style tourniquets I could find on there are those in individually little one inch ones you'd see at blood banks and everything like that. So I wanted to find one that had the same thickness and, and length. So the closest thing to that is gonna be the SWAT T tourniquet. That will add a $19.99 onto, uh, onto your cost. And then we're gonna round it off with a pair of nitrile gloves at 34 cents. This gives us a, a subtotal of $32.23 for the value of this pack. That is a loss of $7.76. 
So the Trauma Pack 3 came in a Ziploc style bag. Once again, you can use a larger Ziploc bag to put all these items in. In my opinion on this one, this has not hit the mark because it does cost you more money to, to purchase this pack than it would be just to assemble these items. Okay, so now let's see what I was able to put together with the same cost analysis and the same value as the Trauma Pack 3. Um, when it comes to large manufacturing of prepackaged products, you got to understand that everything that they put in there is purchased in bulk with a reduced cost. And that's kind of the same thing as we did here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a breakdown of what I was able to put together. Um, I used the same method as what the manufacturers would do on here. So I bought things in bulk and adjusted the price per individual item and only attributed the cost of the items that are in the package. So this is a close representation of what you can do with the same value as what the manufacturers would do with these major brands. So let's break this down. Let's see what it is I was able to do. So in this pack, we do have a self-adhering Coben. a single five by nine combine pad, five packages of three inch by four inch non-adherent pads, a pair of nitrile gloves, latex free, two rolls of three inch gauze, a pair of EMT shears, a triangular bandage, a cat style, not brand tourniquet, a six inch Israeli compression bandage, a small Sharpie marker, a package of quarter inch by four inch Steri strips. These are wound closures. They work in the same concept as stitches would do for your skin, but it's basically like a stick of tape. These are great to have until you can seek full medical care. And then the last thing here is we do have a package of Quick Clot. Uh, it is a good addition to a complete kit. Now I know you're gonna ask, how much did this kit cost? This kit all around cost me $38.03. We came under the targeted value of what that trauma pack is. We can add in a couple more pads or a roll or two, um, but this is everything that I had on hand according to what I can show you here in the video. So this was a great target. We were, came under our budget, and even if you wanted to add 50 cents or so for this Ziploc bag, um, it even goes on with, because this trauma pack comes in with a plastic sealable bag as well. Um, so we came under our target. Now let me show you the cost breakdown and show you how much these individual items cost and where you can acquire them if you would like to. So here's the cost breakdown. On the top here, we're going to start off with the, the Coben wrap is going to come in at $1.66 for a single roll. The combine pad is going to come in at $0.42 cents for a single pad. The Steri strips are going to come in at $1.50. The rolled gauze for two of them, you're looking at $1.44. The Israeli style bandage, this right here is a different manufacturer, but it's the same exact size and application. That one's gonna roll in at $6.99. The cat style tourniquet, not cat manufacturer, but it is the same exact style. You're gonna be running in at $5.25. And then going back into the basics, we've got the nitrile gloves at 34 cents, the Sharpie marker at $1.25, the shears at $1.66, the triangular bandage at 83 cents, and rounding it off with a quick clot at $15.99. That brings our subtotal up to $38.03. That is a great all around price and value. And if you want to go ahead and purchase these items, you are going to be spending a higher dollar amount, but you're going to be assembling these kits in a smaller amount. So what I would say is if you need to purchase larger quantities, see if you got a buddy or two that wants to put together a kit just like that. Everybody pitching in, you can acquire these prices at the, the mark that we showed here. Tell me if you guys like this video because I think I got a couple more for you inbound. I love you guys. God bless you. You have a good day.